Welcome to the short course on Joe's self-service. My name is Clarice Reyes, and I will be guiding you through this lesson today. So this is what the homepage of the Joe's Self-Service Student Center um, login looks like. If this is your first time using Joe's to set up your official ST Joe's account, you would click on create your password. For instructions, make sure to visit this website down here below for step-by-step -step details on how to create your account. As you can see, if you have other issues and you need the help desk, or maybe you just forgot your password, you can find them all under help links. <clears throat> Sorry. So to set up your student account, you will need to know your username before you can follow this additional steps. You would log into your application manager and enter the email password that you use to create the application. Click on view update to view your application status. In the gold box, you will find your username. If you have any questions, can't see your username, please contact me and I can um, check in a couple of different places for you. And for the additional instructions, as we mentioned earlier, you can just click here to find out how to set up. So once you're in your Joe's account, this might be the only thing that you'll see. So first you'll have to agree to the UME consent. You won't be able to do anything else until you have done that. Once you've taken care of the e-consent, you might want to go to the emergency mass notification section and probably opt out of receiving phone calls, text messages, and things like that. Because if you're not located in the Rolla area, you're probably not gonna wanna hear about a middle of the night robbery. Um, it might be advisable to have the information go to an email address at least so that way you can be um, kept aware of maybe weather closings and things like that even though the university itself tries to um, reach out to all students about those anyway but if you want to opt out completely you can click on the opt out button right there so once you're settled in um, you'll need to get to your student center. So there's a couple of different ways to access that. When you're in this main menu screen, you can just click on self-service and it will take you to what you see over here. And this is only just a portion of the self-service screen, but you can click on student center and you'll, it'll take you there. And over here in this welcome box, you'll also usually have a link that says student center. So here we show um, the student center and your class will be right here. So this is your academics. So you can search for classes, you can view your schedule, you can add classes, drop classes, look at your grades. You can even request um, unofficial transcripts through here and official transcripts. Over here is the financial area. If you have financial aid or any awards, you can take a look over here. And TouchNet is the main way that you're going to be making payments and looking at billing statements. Personal information is down below. If you ever forget your student ID, you can click on demographic data and the ID number will be on there. On this side, we have the advising holds. And you just click on details and you can find out what kind of holds you have if there's other than advising. Um, there's a to-do list, which is applicable to the students. There's the um, message center. We have enrollment dates. Right now, a lot of you might see that it says, you know, you're able to enroll after November 2nd, um, or you might not see anything else. This is usually right after advising week that you'll start to see that come up. And then to find out who your program advisor is, it's down under advisor. 
and you'll see the contact information. If it says no advisor assigned, make sure to let us know. If you're having trouble logging in, as I mentioned earlier, just click on forget your password and it will help you um, work your way back in. Um, also, you can contact the IT help desk. Make sure to stay connected with us through Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn for networking, upcoming events, important dates and announcements, and much more. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us. This is our information up here. You can call my number or you can email us or um, drop by the website and see if you can find what you need. For technical help, you can contact the IT Help Desk. They have live chat. You can submit a help ticket or even just view videos if you, maybe you need to know how to do certain things, you know, troubleshoot. There's their email address and their phone number and the live chat button can be found at the IT Help Desk website. Thank you for joining us today.